My name is Ellie and I'm a volunteer here at Reef Doctor. Reef Doctor is an NGO located in the Bay of Rano Bay in the province of Tolia, the poorest region of Madagascar. The livelihoods of the majority of the population here depend on fishing, but sadly, marine resources are declining, leaving these people with even fewer choices than before. Since it began in 2001, Reef Doctor has been working together with the local Malagasy people to conserve marine habitats and resources. Throughout the course of 2016, Reef Doctor has been hard at work researching and preparing the implementation of an artificial reef here in the Bay of Reno Bay. The aim of this artificial reef is to improve fisheries productivity, reverse declining catches, and redirect fishing pressure off of overexploited, fragile coral reefs in the lagoon interior. When the idea was developed, factors such as location, materials, cost, and function had to be considered. Many hours were spent researching artificial and natural reefs to determine the optimal design and finally a plan was conceived. In order for this idea to become a reality, Reef Doctor discussed the project and its expected benefits within the bay with officials from the village of Fati. After obtaining approval from the village elders, a site was chosen from three possibilities for its rocky and sandy substrate. Materials like rocks and pipes were purchased and delivered to camp by Zebu Car. On October 28th, the reef Batumaha Velu, meaning the rock that gives life and bathing, the language of Rufati, finally entered the ocean. To celebrate the launch of the first artificial reef in the Bay of Rano Bay, we organized a community artificial reef day. The rest of the day was filled with speeches, traditional singing and dancing by groups including the Fati Women's Association and our very own Reef Doctor Juniors. During the day, Pirogues fishermen helped Reef Doctor bring rocks to the site of Vato Mahavelu. Many people came out to help carry rocks to the boats with everyone from young children, the National Minister of Fisheries, locals from Ifati, Reef Doctor team members, members of partner NGOs, and even national news film crew. It was an important day not only because it marked the beginning of construction of a prototype artificial reef that, if successful, will increase fish in the lagoon, but because it was something the entire community did together. Now, construction on the reef has started. Pierogies and Reef Doctor have brought rocks out to the reef site and dives are going out nearly every day to build the bombies, which are structures made from rock and coral. Already, curious animals are venturing closer to the reef and one day, this reef will be home to octopuses, lobster, shrimp, different species of fish, and eventually coral. Without all of your generous donations and support, the expansion of this amazing project that has the potential to benefit many people within the area would not be possible. In the Bay of Rano Bay, even the littlest bit could make a world of difference. Isocha and thank you.